Good morning, it's me again. I hope you're all well. Today feels like spring is in the air. Beautiful day out there, outside the office window. I can see a bit of evergreens. A field with cows just moving along. Going to be milked, I think. <clears throat> anyway, that isn't why you're called. So today's video is not about uh, Alex Belfield, because apparently um, people don't like it when I do a video about Belfield. It comes from a channel that advocates free speech from a free speech champion, but yet they try and shut everyone else down for having um, free speech, telling the truth and not lying. But where they came from, it's all misinformation, lies and bullshit. But hey, how life is strange and so are people. But anyway, um, so no Belfield talk today to keep everyone happy. I don't like to pee people off, you know. It's not my style. I don't get a buzz out of it like some people. We may or may not know the name of the person. Anyway, um, so I did a bit of search on the uh, internet and I found this man who's got his own website and he does videos on it. I don't know his name, but he said he's not going to do any videos about the war because it's, it's, no one wants to hear about the war, do they? It's just, he said it's, it's not real according to him. Anyway, he's doing videos about the war. Ironic that, isn't it, really? But he believes the war's not quite right. It's, it's using fake footage and it, the news channel's using fake footage and it's not real. Uh, and it's all just a, a ploy. Wow. Tinfoil Hat Brigade on board fully on that one, I think. I saw some of the man has got a website. He posted on Twitter about the um, BLM leader, he got shot, and um, the four men who shot, well, sorry, the four men who allegedly shot her have been released from prison, and he was kicking off because the mainstream media weren't reporting on it. So you do a quick Google search, and uh, you find out that six hours before he released that statement on Twitter, every single news outlet in the UK had covered the story six hours before he even brought it up. Yeah, he's telling everybody, the mainstream media aren't talking about this. Why? Well, uh, I beg to differ. I've checked and they're all talking about it. And they were talking about it last week too. Yeah, the story's now seven days old. But some people just can't help but lie about things, can they? I think it's called clickbait. People get sucked in. And uh, they fall for it hook, line and sinker. But there you go. That's their prerogative, isn't it? I'm not here to stop anyone doing anything. I'm here to talk about truth. Misinformation that people dish out and I'll bring the uh, the evidence that it's not true and it's all lies. Um, who else did I see on the internet? Um, there was this man on the weekend, he had a live stream. And, it, and he had eight people on board and it crashed. Yeah, sad that really. He was only trying to make himself uh, money for nothing, isn't he? And um, yeah, it crashed. Eight people crashed it. I mean, he said it was because everyone logged on to join. But the way websites work, if you have a static web page, which means the page looks the same every time you load it, it doesn't change, i.e. like a, a registration page or a login page, the bandwidth needed for that is absolutely minimal. You're talking kilobytes, tiny, tiny bits of information are needed. You can get a billion people on the website logging in at a single time on the shittiest server you can find. It ain't going to crash. If you've got an all signal dancing website with loads of different graphics and effects going on, granted it'll crash because it's more bandwidth needed, it's more data being transferred to the other people. But it's a static website. It's very basic, this website. And uh, yeah, it ain't going to crash in a month of Sundays. Also, the server he's got now is the same server he had a week ago. So the server upgrades seem to be invisible. Uh, again, hey ho, crack on. I'm, I'm not here to, to, uh, to judge anybody. I'm just giving the facts. The server hasn't changed. 
the IP address hasn't changed. Yeah, it's um, you can't flag your way through life without being caught out. It's as simple as that, really. Anyway, we'll be having a good uh, Tuesday. As I say, it looks like spring's arriving, which is nice. Get a bit of vitamin D. I'll uh, I might take tomorrow off and soak up some vitamin D. You watch it'll rain tomorrow. <laughs> hey ho. So anyway, normal services may resume in a day or two, or even today. I don't know. But yeah, the uh, the ironic people that come from the yeah, free speech channel with a free speech advocate don't seem to like free speech, and they call your names like they're on schoolyard, which is quite embarrassing, really, because I think most of his um, followers are, are like 50 plus, and they act like they're five, six year olds in the playground, calling people names and shouting at them. That's quite um, pathetic, isn't it, really? I think it shows your mentality, doesn't it, when you resort to calling people names constantly on the uh, on their chat pages. It's, it's just, I find it quite funny. A good judge of character, how you were brought up and, and your um, the way you think about the world and the way you think about yourself, really, because you project yourself, don't you? That's what people do. They project themselves onto others. I like to tell the truth. Highlight issues, highlight uh, lies. So I guess that projects me quite well. I don't like to lie, don't like to uh, tell lies, don't like mistruths, don't like being wronged, hate being lied to. That's uh, my projection. That's uh, how it works. Human nature, you can't hide from it. You, you can't hide your mannerisms. If you're lying, your eyes light up, your eyebrows go ten to the dozen, you smirk. That's a lie, that is. Yeah. You watch some videos of certain people and you'll see their eyebrows going up and down like 10 to the dozen. Um, their eyes get bigger. Even though they've only got small eyes, they get bigger and they smirk. It's a crooked smirk for a crooked person, I suppose. But yeah, you can't um, supp suppress a human signals that it get, the body gives out to people which is quite good really if it's good enough for the FBI it's good enough for me so yeah that's a little just a little rant from me really a little blog about the irony of um, everything free speech but you can't have free speech because we don't like it great that's just I don't know what kind of mentality that is. That's weird mentality. Uh, anyway, enjoy your day. Enjoy your week. Be safe. And um, I'll catch you soon. Take it easy, guys. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.